Hey guys, what's going on? This is Richie here from the Red Planet Films, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys something a little bit different. This video, according to the info that I pulled on it, this is literally last modified in May 2011. These videos might have been done a couple of months prior to when it was last modified as in my episodes. So these are about five or six years old at least. And this is when me and my friend Alex, we literally had nothing better to do with our time and our lives. So what we would do is we both had a bit of a passion for filmmaking, so we would make our own skits and our own little short films and all that stuff. And I will be showing you one of the short films that we made. And this was one of the skits that we made. And what it was, it was this therapy session where I was this, this random guy who had like this weird wannabe Christopher Walken accent and then my friend Alex was the therapist and he was a very odd therapist. So what you're about to see is the videos just edited down and everything like that and um try not to judge us too hard please. I thought this would be kind of fun to just share and something a little bit different so I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of it and if you really want more like skits and stuff like in the future. That's pretty much it. I'm going to shut my pie hole and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Hello, doctor. Hello, Mr. Vargas. How are you? I'm depressed. Why is that? Well, yesterday my dog died. <laughs> how, 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 how did that happen? He caught on fire. How? How how did that happen? Well, I was vacuuming the living room and I ran his tail over. He let out this really loud yelping sound. And then he launched into the ceiling fan because he jumped. Cause, cause the, the, the vacuum cleaner running over his tail. And then the ceiling fan fell and then he got electrocuted and caught on fire and shot straight out the window. My four year old daughter saw everything. Now, how, I, how did that make her feel? How did she feel? Yes. She was, she, she was heartbroken. Except for after I bought her that doll that poops itself. You know, the, the, yeah, those. Oh God, it's just a mess everywhere. It's worse than the dog. Why? It's just poop everywhere. But that's a different story. Now what about your wife? My wife? My wife is dead. Now how does that make you feel? Well, uh, well, uh, um, Doc, you see, I, uh, woo, uh, well, Doc, um, it's a little hard blowing my load every now and then, but, um, yeah. And what makes you say that? Well, because... My daughter's always on top of me, so it's not like I can, you know, just... Your daughter? Yes! We just specified that I have a daughter. Now why is she on top? Mr. Doctor, you're so naughty. Now why? What? What? How? 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 What? How? How? What? How? How does that make you what feel? How? How does that make you feel? How does what make me feel? She's seven! I can't blow my load because my wife is dead. My dog died, I'm depressed. And you're sitting here asking me all these stupid questions. Oh. I think we're making some good progress here. I believe we're making some, some decent progress. You just said that, Doc. I know, I know, but I felt we had the need to repeat it. What is 
wrong with you today, Doc? Nothing's wrong with me, sir. I think it's something wrong with you. I'm making some very progressive notes about your your progress. And maybe, 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 just maybe, maybe, we can give you some prescription medicine. Oh, prescriptions. I like over the counter better. We can do that too. Why do you like over the counter? I don't know. <laughs> I have a fetish for kitchens. I always used to bang my wife on the counter. Especially when we were cooking. All the sauces and the spells just turn us both on. But you don't need to know that, even though I already shared it with you. But... Well, I've written it down, it's gotten out in our notes. Oh. Now, how about that mood change? What mood change? -a? This mood change! -a. Uh... How do you feel about Big Black Penis? About what? Vikings. Why are we talking about Vikings? Vicodin, sir. Who's Vicodin? The prescription I might have to prescribe you. What's that? For your prescription. What does it do? It helps with your... your mental instability. Oh... I'm mentally unstable? As of right now, I believe so. And Vicodin can help you. It was made by the Vikings in the 1800s. See, we are talking about the Vikings. No, no, no. I don't like them. I like the Jets. I'm not talking about the football team, sir. Oh. The Vikings who wore the Viking hats with big pointy horns on them and ravaged women. Like Thor. Yes, like Thor. I See, we're making progress. Book. Yes. We're making progress. Where are we going? We're making progress in our notes. Oh, okay. Yes. Now, as I was saying, the Vikings created Vicodin out of tree roots, bark, animal semen, seaweed that they found on their voyages and human feces. That's unhealthy for the environment. Not, as, not only is it unhealthy for the environment, it is also unhealthy for you. But it's very addictive, which is a positive side, and it's a hallucinogen. My last patient that took it said he saw a penguin flying on the back of a camel across his lawn. How is that positive? Because you have no clue what's going on. What about my daughter? She's gonna see me going all bananas. I can prescribe some to her too. She's only seven. What can a seven year old take, baby aspirin? Vicodin. No. The Vikings gave it to their infants. No Viagra for my daughter. Vicodin, sir. <laughs> Viagra is for Hugh Hefner. I like him. Every time I wear this robe, I feel like him. Except I don't get laid as much. Or by pretty young blonde girls with big tits and nice asses. No, I can't cheat on my wife. Of course, I don't have the wedding ring because I accidentally swallowed it when I was drunk once with my neighbor. He's black. His ah. name's Tyrone and he's big. And he's strong and masculine. <laughs> you don't need to know that. Gosh, Doc, you make me feel like a turtle. I just want to be inside my shell and hide forever. So, you believe that you are making some homosexual progress? No! You said that you believe that your, your neighbor is masculine and handsome. I, don't, I was going on a rant. I'm not Adam Lambert. I'm sorry. What about Chris Allen? I don't like him. He's short. Ah. You know who I do like, though? I like that Nick Cannon guy, even though his career failed. But that doesn't matter.
What do you feel about w w watermelon? I was just talking about Nick Cannon. He's black, right? How does that make you feel about water? Wa watermelon? I don't Fried know. Fried chicken. Can Fried chicken. You, can you stop interrupting me, please? I'm trying to finish my sentence. Back to watermelon. What are you talking about? How does watermelon make you feel? I don't like it. It makes my throat all dry and itchy. What about fried chicken? <laughs> Doc, have you been taking too much Vicodin? You're scaring me. No. Answer the question. Fried chicken. I like it. Especially now from KFC because they have the zero trans fat thing for about a while. But... So you believe you're fat? No, no. I, I just don't like getting like, you know, like little fat and stuff. Because I'm pretty fit. I have like a pack and riblets and stuff. And oh. Urinary tract infections are very painful. What is that? It's a urinary tract infection? What is it? Gonorrhea. Do I have that? Oh god. Does it hurt when you piss? No, but it hurts when I walk. Right, left. Uh, 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 right nut, left nut, or shaft? What hurts when you walk? Um, no, I'm talking about when I walk, my feet hurt. The, the little, like, arches on my feet, sometimes they just go flat and then I fall on the side. Of it. You're a pansy! Ow! Doc? Why are you whispering, Doc? The aliens might hear us. What's wrong with you today? You never like this. Did somebody give you a four locos? I bet it was a Mexican, wasn't it? Those are illegal! Which one? The four locos or the Mexican? Both! Okay. So, I believe we've made some good progress here. These notes that I have conducted on this here notepad stress the importance that you, sir, have a prescription pineapple and a few apples. Maybe dip them in some cinnamon and some whipped cream. Cures everything. You won't have to worry about it. You won't hallucinate, and it's completely legal. Now, what do you say about that? I don't like pineapples. SpongeBob lives in it. My daughter watches it all the time. What are crab cakes? What? What are crab cakes? I know what Krabby Patties are, but not crab cakes. Huh? Mm. What about... What about some grass? What the heck is this? These are my notes. This has nothing to do with what I was saying. It actually does. How? Well, there's an apple. That signifies what I just said. There's a big black penis. That says, signifies what I said before. The sun means that it's the opposite of what you are, which the sun is happy and you are not. And it hurts, so I drew a snake eating someone's penis. You, sir. You need the grape. Ugh. Doc, what happened to you? Where are you going, Doc? Sorry, I dropped my pen. <laughs> oh!